Well, it is no surprise that more people are planning to do most of their holiday shopping online this year, but a new report reveals almost half of us are putting our personal information at risk when we do so. So three on your side, Susan Campbell has more on that. Good morning, Scott. Yeah, this year retailers are expecting a spike in the number of online orders. According to a bank rate survey, 71% of people say they'll do most of their holiday shopping online compared to 51% last year. With all of that activity, Bankrate also found nine out of 10 of us are taking risks with our personal data. Take a look at some of the riskiest behaviors. According to the company's new report, 80% of us have reused online passwords. 45% of us saved passwords on our computers or phones. 39% of us have saved payment information online and 36% of us have used public Wi-Fi. But there are ways to protect your personal information while still shopping online. So it's safer, first of all, to use a credit card if you can rather than debit because it's not a direct link to your checking account. Debit cards have zero liability policies too, but that's gonna be real money missing for a period of most likely two, three, four weeks. Ted Rossman is an analyst for creditcards.com. He says you should also consider using a password manager and regularly check your credit report and your financial statements. And while most of us are being too lax about our credit card security, credit card companies are actually getting stricter. According to the report, 43% of adults in the U.S. have received a false fraud alert about at least one purchase. Because that is one of the main times that something gets flagged is if you're outside of your normal geographic area, that can look suspicious. But there's other things too, big purchases, especially if they're out of the norm for you, or, or sometimes even online purchases can make it look like you're somewhere away from home. Most credit card companies say they don't need a heads up if you're traveling or making a big purchase, but Ted says it doesn't hurt to let them know that may help you avoid a false fraud report.